And they see me rolling, they hating, patrolling, they try to catch me riding dirty, trying to catch me riding dirty, trying to catch me riding dirty. Hi guys, happy new year. I hope you all had a good one. It is Yuzani and Kate here and welcome back to my channel. So yeah, today I am riding, I'm going to call it Ingrid. Anyone that's old enough will probably understand why. But she's a 400 Bergman, Suzuki Bergman, 2018 model. So this one is completely standard except for heated grips, which was a nice little wintry addition that got put on there so that I don't freeze my knackers off. Metaphorical knackers, by the way. Right, time to fill her up. So the way you fill this up is just this little pop-up compartment. There we go. Hiya, number five please. I'm all right. Thank you very much. See you later. Look at her in all her glory. Damn, Bergy. Right, so I didn't think that I'd ever find myself on a big maxi scooter. In fact, it's not something that was ever on my list to ride, but you know what? I'm glad I have. I'm glad that I'm opening my eyes to new things, to different perspectives, different types of bikes whether they are actual bikes or whether they're scooters because you know what it's bloody fun like just getting to know something just getting to learn like a completely alien style of riding like i know you're probably saying come on kate it's only scooter but yeah it is but i do feel like i'm riding an armchair and it's not normal for me so i'm embracing it now as you can see we're going up a motorway slip road right now it's got plenty pull i mean we're at 70 already so yeah on the motorway it doesn't mess around it's because it's a 400 and not a 125 obviously it's got so much pull it actually surprised me the first time i got on it because i wasn't expecting it it was kind of pretty fast just cruising at 70 mile an hour now and it's really comfortable it's not struggling it's just sat there at six and a half thousand revs just doing its thing it's like what it was made to do i have been told that this scooter maxes out at 90 miles an hour that you have to sort of not relearn how to tip it into bends but you have to tip it into bends like really weird it's hard to explain it is weird it's different like i think if you've ridden a giant scooter you'll probably know what i mean and you'll be able to articulate it a bit better than me as well but hey ho so obviously with this being an automatic scooter um if you're to jump on one of these from having a motorbike you have to get it out of your mind that you have a clutch because otherwise you're going to be slamming on at very inconvenient times and i tell you what this back brake is so sharp like it's got twin discs on the front which is pretty good um and when you brake just using the front it's adequate and you will stop but oh my god literally you slam on if you use both of them because that rear is just next level as i've got older there's been like a little bit of a paradigm shift in my brain about scooters so at one point i thought oh people that ride scooters are the type of guys whose wives have got the balls in a jar at home you're not allowed a bike, you'll kill yourself. But really, 
if you're riding around on a giant couch and you have the confidence to do that, that's big dick energy right there. That is what you are displaying. You are oozing confidence. You don't care what people think. You're on a maxi scooter and you're going to dust some bikes on the road and you're going to embarrass them. I have to say I've been using this bike to commute to work on and oh god I forgot to put heat grips on do you know what I'm so not used to having them oh you know what they are beautiful seriously I've been riding in like four degrees you know I wrap up a bit heated grips on sat on my armchair nice screen in front of me blocking the wind toasty as you like just cruising past all the metal boxes as they sat there, albeit with the heating on. But I'm having fun getting to work and I'm not as cold as I thought it would be. So it's been, it's been good. I'll be sad to give it back. It's so practical. Oh, tight bend, tight bend. Oh, oh, didn't die, ace. So fuel economy on this thing, it's actually really good. It's got a tiny tank. Uh, it literally takes like a tenner in juice um, but I've been showing that I've been getting like 66 miles to the gallon but I have kind of been stonking it on the motorway so it will probably do a lot better than that I've just been bullying it a little bit and you know what's a really nice feeling on my way to work because I have a lot of things like a change of clothes, trainers I've got a lot of stuff going on and um, I have to wear a backpack now I've got a plate in my collarbone and sometimes rucksacks depending on what bike I'm on can really hurt like it sort of traps the nerves and gives me a proper dead arm and it's horrible but at least with the little scoop you know I don't have to worry about that I've got plenty room under the butt where I'm sat right now so there's enough room in there to fit a helmet, a pair of trainers um, probably got a little bit of room left for some bickies to keep your colleagues happy. oh yeah these uh, heated grips have warmed up beautifully now what a treat so it's a pretty simplistic dash which is quite nice you've got the analogue miles per hour and kilometres per hour on there you've got your revs it does a red line at eight and a half. Again, that's an analog on the right hand side. Then you've got time, you've got a clock on there, which is really handy for when I'm commuting. I'm like, it's very, very clear. I don't have to like sort of squint my eyes to find the time, which is nice. Um, how much fuel you've got left, just a big chunky bar system that's not failed me yet, thankfully. In the middle, real big, you've got how cold it is or warm outside, depending on time of year. And also, if you press um, a little button, which is just there, uh, it changes it to show you what your miles per gallon is, which is quite nice. Riding position for me, you know I'm a short ass, and it isn't bad and um, the seat is just quite wide so it makes it deceptively tall but not unbearably tall because it's like with anything you adapt don't you and you get over it comfort wise it's got a little sort of backrest which is adjustable which is quite a nice touch it's quite funny on my commute i've been um, pulling to the front of traffic a lot and you look in your mirrors and you can almost hear the sigh from the car behind like cheers mate i've got a scooter in front of me now i'm never gonna get to work on time and then as soon as the lights change this is quick off the mark so yeah right now 20 mile an hour let's open it up 30 40 50 60 you know, it does it all right red wigs ice cream that sun is bright so these are very well suited to somebody that you know maybe works in a really busy city you know doesn't like to sit in the horrendous city traffic because man I've been there 
somebody that just wants to get home a little bit quicker than all the other people that are stuck in the metal cage but also it's very good for people that you know maybe want to get into bikes they want to get that feel for how two wheels are on a road but they don't want to go through the effort or not the effort but they haven't got the sort of initial drive to you know want to learn how to use gears they just want to get on they just want to go go to work get there as conveniently as possible and um and get sort of a feel for riding because it can lead on to other things it can be like a gateway bike if you will or a gateway scoop but yeah not not only that these make second great bikes i mean me personally i wouldn't own one as my only bike because i like you know your conventional naked bikes and sports bikes but if i didn't have a car and this was sort of my commuting mode of transport i wouldn't be all that mad they're extremely good on fuel low on insurance quite nippy rev and go not much to think about you know you can get wonderful things on there like i've got heated grips on at the moment which is just splendid you can get heated seats on these bad boys you know there's lots of options and if you're traveling in the horrible rain just whack a a nice rain suit on and from experience of me commuting in the torrential rain that screen does an excellent job of um you know keeping the rain off same with all this that's going on down here you know it does a it does a very good job but yeah i've been having such a good time on this scooter it's really surprised me i didn't expect it to be able to to do everything like it can and i've ridden the bergman 650 executive and that is a piece of kit that's crazy it's got foldable um wing mirrors it's got a screen that goes up and down you can i'm pretty sure you can put it in manual um you know it's got heated grips as standard heated seat as standard and that again is another proper commuting weapon but the only thing with that is it is a lot bigger than this like don't get me wrong this is quite a chunky beast um but the bergman 650 even more so i actually can't believe how much i really like this scooter honestly it does everything i want it to do really for commuting and just having a, a casual blast out it's real fun they see me rolling they hate it oh that song's in my head now god damn it so yeah just to quickly summarize i'm seriously enjoying this scooter i nearly said bike then but <laughs> i'm seriously enjoying this scooter it's got enough poke to get you out of any bad situations it's fun it's practical it's convenient but it isn't boring my biggest concern was that a giant scooter was going to be boring but i haven't found that what's not to love the power's just there so yeah i definitely for me i'd not have a scooter like not just the bergman i wouldn't have any scooter as my main you know sort of two-wheel transport um but it does serve a purpose it's like now i'm so comfy that is one of the biggest things when you're commuting and um if you've got a sports bike that you've got a commute on you're absolutely crippled by the time you get to work but nope not me not on this nope and get in fresh as a daisy Yeah, I'm so grateful that I've had this to ride over winter. It's really got me out of the car, on the bike. You know, really, really what it's all about. Just getting you out there no matter what. I mean, fair weather riding is all well and good, but there's just something satisfying about riding through winter and, you know, being well hard. 